Our universe is made of particles, atoms, nuclei, and many molecules, solids, liquids, gases, and so much more that doesn't shine. All this groovy stuff, cruising round the verse, travels near and far. But let's not be too terse, three spatial dimensions mean we need vectors to say which way. Vectors do the job to systematically tell you both which way. And the magnitude, i hat, j hat, k hat, unit vectors pointing down the x and y and z axes. By Pythagoras, you get the magnitude from the components. Squaring and summing, don't forget the square root. Check your units and you've got it nailed. Let's use calculus to find some quantities. Start with position and take d by dt. Tells you both which way you go and has the speed for magnitude, my dear. That's velocity. It's instantaneous, it's derivative. Is acceleration, that's just kinematics. You need something more to know its course of course. Consider momentum. Mass times velocity times Lorentz gamma. If speeds are close to C, change it and you must say interactions are at play today. Hey, hey. Momentum principle. Change in the momentum, we call it delta P. Requires interaction, delta P equals net force times duration. That's the principle. Simple. You can go so far with this one principle like a recipe. Follow the steps with me. First, choose the system on which the surroundings cause a net force. An atom is vectors. Update momentum. Find average velocity. Update the position. You're nearly done, you see. Repeat these steps as needed. The Python with loops makes it so fun.